Hi Floss Tube. This is Stephanie, the Ivy House Crafter. This video is probably going to be disorganized because if I have to, if I have to take the time to plan out everything and organize my thoughts and and all that the hard stuff, <laughs> then I won't ever get this done. So this is my channel about cross stitching and sometimes running. And I have some updates, some cross stitchy updates. I've done some stitching, which is good because it's been like um, a month since my last video, maybe a little more. <clears throat> so considering that it hasn't been as much cross stitching as it should have been, but that's okay. All right. So first, I will show the projects that I worked on before this past weekend, um, which was the Stitch West Retreat. So the things I worked on before the retreat, and then I'll talk about the retreat. So I worked on my Dimensions Kit, Feasting Frenzy. fabric. I finished the stitching on the cardinal. I had I had one of the colors finished previously and then I filled in all the rest. So <clears throat> as far as stitching, not back stitching but just the full crosses, everything from the, everything on the bottom half is completely done. And so now I just need to work my way up here and do the, the birdhouse feeder thing. And more birds. So that's a fun little project. Okay. There's actually two that I've worked on, uh, that I worked on, two more that I worked on before the retreat, but one of them I also worked on at the retreat, so I'll do that one afterward. So, here's the other one that I got some stitching done on. This is Fox and Rabbit 2022 Mystery Sampler called Changing Seasons. This, um, more of it has been released. This is just um, what I have printed. And so previously I had like a little bit done here and I think a little bit here and I was working on this. I, I did that part, that little motif, and I was working on filling in this. So that is what I had previously. is being stitched on 32 count. I don't remember the name, but it is um, linen. I got it on one, two, three stitch. And here is what I have so far. So I finished filling in that square and then I started working on the flowers and vines for the spring section. I hope this is showing up okay. I can barely see the camera through my fabric. <laughs> oh, and there's that bit up there too. So I am very far behind on this, um, obviously, <laughs> since there are only two more parts to be released, November and December, but it's a beautiful project and I'm excited to be working on that. So that was, again, um, two over two on 32 count greenish linen and I'm stitching it with DMC Acru.
All right. Now here's the one that I worked on before the retreat and then also brought to the retreat. And I worked on this um, <clears throat> Friday and part of Saturday as well. I was gonna re I was gonna work on it on Sunday too, but um, I'll explain what I what I worked on on Sunday in a little bit. This is Autumn Town by um, Autumn Lane Stitchery. It's meant to be stitched on green fabric, but I am stitching it on. Oh, there's somebody's car alarm going off. Who knows how that's how long that's gonna go? I'm stitching it on a just a natural linen, um, and so it's not green in the background, which means I get to stitch the grass. Anyway, and I'm also I've changed most of the very well, all of the variegated colors <clears throat> to colors that I had in my stash. So I'll cover up kind of the part that I did at the retreat so you can see how far I have got had gotten. Um, so before I did these trees, the red in the trees and then the, the green grass here. No, no, I don't think I had done the grass. The grass came later. But so yeah, I did did these trees. And then at the retreat, I added a whole bunch more trees. Um, this was, this is always so much fun to work on. I love this piece so much. Um, this is one over two on 40 count. Um, again, it's just a, a natural linen. I, I don't know what the color name was, but it was, it's just plain beigey brown. <laughs> and this is turning out so awesome. And I put in so many little bitty stitches at the retreat and I love how it is turning out. So much fun. Okay. And um, when I brought it to the retreat, I had it in a Ziploc bag. <clears throat> Excuse me. So obviously I had to <clears throat> go over to the vendor room and get a project bag for it. Remind myself who made this lovely bag. Ah. So this bag is from So For Fun. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna show up, but um, So SEO For Fun by Cheryl K. And it's such a pretty bag. Here's the back. Sunflowers. And basically all the fabric is the, is the sunflower fabric. And then she uses this um, heart patterned vinyl over or uh, as the vinyl bit and makes this really pretty um, zipper pull that could also work as a keychain. That would be an awesome keychain too, but you know, I want it on my zipper pull. The zippers that she uses, I don't know what it is, but they're really good. They, they are so smooth. They just, mm, really nice smooth zippers. So yeah, and while I was there in the vendor room that day, I also got this project bag from Jordi's Handmade. And this is Teresa Kogut fabric, I'm pretty sure. That's what somebody told me. So that's pretty awesome. And I just, I fell in love with all the little woodland animals and the moths and the trees, and it's just so very pretty. And the back is more of this fabric. Also, at that go-round in the, um, in, gather your thoughts, put them into words, 
stick them out of your mouth. Okay, that go round in the vendor room. I bought a couple patterns. These are from Screen Door Needleworks, designed by Jennifer Shavers. And this one, um, mainly I got them because the um, she had all her models out and these were just so great stitched up. I loved them. So this one is Fall Scarecrow. Just a sweet little piece with like these colorful acorns and it's just so cute. So there's that one. I have to take them out of the bags so that they do not um, have a huge amount of glare or anything. And then this one is the Yellow Rose of Texas sampler. Now I've been to Texas, but I've never lived there. I don't care. This is a cute sampler. I mean, that's just so sweet. And it looked so good all stitched up. Um, like <laughs> that longhorn steer, that is just so awesome. And the little church down in the corner, and of course the yellow roses. And the, the T and X are um, stitched in the different color for Texas. And anyway, I will definitely enjoy stitching that, even though, as I said, I've never even lived in Texas. I don't care. It's great, great pattern, and it's a good state. Go Texas. Okay, let me see. Let's talk a little bit more about the, the retreat itself. Um, so it was at the, the Marriott downtown in Salt Lake City. And I was at a table with eight other lovely ladies. Let me see if I can go over them all in my head. There was Jen Bartoluzzi, or Bartoluzzi. I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name, but that's what it looks like. It's, it's spelled like. There was Lisa and her mom, Anne. There was Carla, who was an absolutely lovely, lo lovely lady from Texas, so that's cool. Um, Andrea, Jennifer Lange, so J Lung, and her mom, Becky. Becky was a, such a sweetheart too. I mean, they were all great. <laughs> and um, Sarah King from Our Stitching Kingdom. And that was my table, and it was just, it was great. There were, there was a nice mix of loud and obnoxious and funny and quiet and calm between the nine of us <laughs> and it was it was a lot of fun um oh saturday we went to lunch at the blue iguana and that was my first time there it was so, so good i ordered the vegetarian chimichanga oh it was delicious mm. Anyway, what was that? No, that was that. That was not lunch. That was dinner, and that was not Saturday. That was Friday. You can't listen to a word I say. I just I make things up apparently. Anyway, oh, let me see. The second day, Saturday, I also worked on. Um, well, I I, I worked a bit on the Autumn Town, but I also got out and worked on for a bit Pandemic from Long Dog Samplers. This one is on 32 Count Nature's Dance, hand-dyed fabrics by Stephanie. And here's where it is. And the part that I worked on at the retreat was this little bit right here. Um, I thought that I would enjoy working on it at the retreat, but it's such a big piece of fabric. I ended up not really, I mean, it wasn't terrible, but I just, I didn't love this as a 
piece to work on at the retreat. <clears throat> and so I switched back to doing Autumn Town. So that got a little bit of work, but not a huge amount. And that's fine. That is being mostly stitched with DMC 801. And then also the pops of turquoise are just some random floss that I got from Amazon. All right, let's see. Scooting back a little bit. Friday night, we, we got to listen to Jordan, Little Stitch Girl, as she um, presented her retreat exclusive pattern. And it is so cute. A stitcher's life is the life for me. And it, um, it has this backstitched trail of thread and then an actual needle and some uncrossed stitches down here so that it looks like it's still being stitched. It's not completely finished, even though it is. And she also designed these two little flower needle minders that you stitch on perforated paper and this um, scissor fob. And they all match and it's so cute. I don't normally finish things in a hoop, but I'm gonna have to for this one because that's just adorable. And I love, I love the whole idea of it. It's so clever and so cute. So that will be a fun one to stitch. All right, let's see. A um, couple more purchases <clears throat> from Little Stitch Girl, <clears throat> excuse me. I bought two more patterns. And this is Flowers for Fall, which I bought because I love autumn and this is just very sweet. And I love the colors, they're so great. And then I also bought this pattern called From Santa, which was designed by Jordan's mom and I thought that that was really cool and it's super cute there's Santa with the ho 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 and from Santa I love the trees I don't know if that's um, focusing properly but um, I love the trees I love the, the little jingle bells on the top it's just, the whole thing is just adorable. So, so yeah, that one is a little Stitch Girl design designed by Jamie, who is Jordan's mom. And the whole basic bunch, because they're, they're basic stitches on, on, um, on floss tube. And yeah, their whole basic bunch is just sweet ladies. Very fun to, to watch. And let's see. Saturday, I visited the vending room again. Or was this from the last one? Anyway, at some point when I visited the vending room, I bought this from Teresa Kogut. Fox and Friend. Um, I saw the, the model. She had the model hanging on the wall. Oh yeah, by the way, Teresa Kogut was there. Super awesome. I got to meet Teresa Kogan. <clears throat> anyway, I fell in love with the model and so I had to have the pattern and I'm going to stitch it. And when I brought it home and showed my, my daughter, Audrey, she was like, oh, it's so pretty because she likes foxes as much as I do. Oh, and I got it signed by Teresa Kogan. Yay. Let's see. Uh, like I've already said, this is very disorganized. Just whatever occurs to me at the time. This is a piece of fabric that um, I got from, from J Long. And 
it's she was she had some fabrics that she was um, just just trying to get rid of. <laughs> this is a this is a silk weaver and it's possibly lavender splash and it's 28 count even weave. Feels like Jobelin. And it's so pretty. It's probably more vibrant in real life than it's showing up on the screen. But yeah, this is a very pretty piece of fabric. So thank you to Jay Long. Also from Jay Long, um, everybody at our table got these little bags and they came with a pair of scissors, which I've already taken out and begun using. Um, they're rainbow thread cutters. And sparkly gel pens and some floss. This is Weep Style Works Blue Heron and DMC 310. And some teeny tiny buttons that are super cute. So this is a zipper tote from Yarn Tree. She said it was gifts for everybody at the table because we had to basically put up with her for the entire weekend. So <laughs> it was fun. All right, let's see. We still need to show. This, I, th I think it also came from J-Long. Either way, it was, um, it was a, a free gift thing uh, that she, I think, that she had and was wanting to get rid of. And it is a book called Oriental Odyssey by Joan Elliott. And it's got all these beautiful Asian inspired designs and <clears throat> like this one. There's some four elements. one in particular that I really want to do I to find it this I would love to do over one and make a really tiny pretty lady so look for that at some point in the future I don't know when I'll be able to stitch that I have so many things I'm working on and so many things I want to start but that's one of them. Let's see. Um, let's go over the Smalls Exchange. Um, I don't have a picture or video. No, I, I do have a picture. I don't have a video of the piece that I stitched for the Smalls Exchange. I will have, I will take words. I will put a picture on Instagram, so if anybody wants to see that, it was it was a cute little pumpkin with vines and leaves, and I made it into a pin cushion. Um, and I received as my small exchange piece this Lizzie Kate hocus pocus with the tiny little um, candy corn buttons, and um, this was stitched by. Jen, the backcountry stitcher, and it's super cute. It, um, I had to take it off of my mantle to show it here in the video because it, it is already sitting up on the mantle because my kids love Halloween decorations and um, yeah, they they were so excited to see this piece and I was too. It's just it's adorable. Okay. Um, well, I suppose I might as well talk about Teresa Kogut because, yes, please. <laughs> um, she presented her retreat exclusive um, Saturday night.
I'm so scattered. Anyway. So she designed for the retreat not just one, but three patterns. Um, this was the big one, Seaworthy Sampler. And she made it a uh, Snug Harbor Crafts themed. So it's got the boat and the lighthouse and there's a mermaid and anchor and these adorable whales and just so many cute fish and stuff. Very fun sampler. Um, Pam and Steph from Just Keep Stitching were there <clears throat> and they were actually at the table next to the one I was sitting at. Pam was blown away. Like I, I was watching Pam because she loves lighthouses and, and things like that and she actually was crying and, and just so happy and excited and that was really fun to see. Um, now I sound weird. Oh yeah, this famous person cried and I thought that was cool. It, things come out the way they come out, whatever. Um, we were all just flabbergasted, um, absolutely amazed. And then she was like, oh, and the other one, here's that mermaid sister. And so that's the second piece and it's sort of a medium sized piece. And she likes all the, the animals. So there's octopus and whale and lobster right there in the middle. There's a third Um, but I don't have the, the picture for that. So there was one other pattern that went with all of these and it was a smaller, just the, a sweet little mermaid. And, um, she said this mermaid's name was Ariel, which is Hebrew for the name of the little mermaid. And I laughed because I totally got it, but I don't think most people there actually got the joke because Ariel is is a Hebrew Hebrew name but it does not mean the name of the little mermaid it means lion of god or something like that and so she was she was being tongue in cheek she was being funny but most i don't think a lot of people got got it <laughs> anyway she gave us these adorable needle minders and this is the mermaid from the the seaworthy sampler and she also gave us fabric and this is 32 count what is it called 32 count nor'easter and it's super pretty and she also gave us all the threads. Look at this gorgeousness. And Deb and Kef from Snug, Snug Harbor Crafts, who of course put on this whole retreat, gave us um, floss drops that are like, that have like bits of the pattern on them, or the, the stitch piece. And this cute little dangly and each one had a different um, charm. I got the mermaid tail. There were also, like there was anchor and, um, oh gosh, there were a whole bunch of other ones and now I can't remember any of them. They were all like sea themed. Anyway, so that was just absolutely amazing. As Kef said, and as Pam and Steph like to say, Everyone was dead on the floor, just amazed, and it was it was a really nice moment. We gave Teresa an, a standing ovation because we were all just like so so appreciative, and and she actually was crying too. That was really it was so cool, such a sweet moment. And I, of course, had to start stitching the Seaworthy Sampler right away, um, mainly because Pam 
um, started it and it turned into a sow. So there's the seaworthy sampler sow thing. So I had to start it that Saturday night as well. Um, the fabric they provided is 32 count and that will look awesome, but I wanted to do mine very small. The, the model that was handed around for everyone to see was stitched on 40 count over two and um, I really liked the way it looked so, so small. And so instead of using the fabric that came with the patterns, I went over to the vendor room again and, um, and visited Leslie Lefleur's table, the um, under the sea fabrics. By this point, I mean, it was Saturday evening and there was still a lot of fabric left, but not as much variety as there would have been if I had gone earlier, but if I had gone earlier, I wouldn't know what I was looking for. So what I ended up with was 28 count um, Chesapeake Bay, and it looks like this, and I'm stitching over one. Move that out of the way. Look at how tiny and awesome and adorable it is. So I have done part of the border. I did the mermaid and the little bird and the anchor and a little tiny fish right there under the anchor and part of this plant that's kind of in the middle. I love tiny stitches and these stitches are super tiny and so cute. The piece of fabric is much larger than, than I'm going to need. I'm, um, I'll trim it at some point, but yeah, I, I bought the fabric and I headed back over to the stitching room and I started stitching. So, um, so most of this I got done at the retreat and this is also what I worked on all of Sunday. And then um, I've also been stitching on it since the retreat. So some of this was done at the retreat and some of it was done here at home after the retreat. <clears throat> so that was the, the last project that I stitched on at the retreat. Also, I needed a cross stitch bag for this pat for this um, piece because <clears throat> I didn't have a spare bag. So I stopped by Cheryl's table, so for fun, one more time. She didn't have anything nautical, but that is all right. So this doesn't fit or match or correspond to the pattern at all, but it's still a beautiful bag. It's honeybees and it's got little bee scats and beehives and stuff. And it's the same fabric on the inside and then it's this honeycomb up top and again the heart patterned um, vinyl and the really cool needle pole fob. And again, some, something about these zippers is really nice. I love the zippers she uses. Obviously not the cheap ones. Or maybe if they are the cheap ones, she just got a really good source for, for, for good zip. Anyway, good zippers. <laughs> okay. While I was there at or getting that, she also gave me a um, a little freebie pattern for a cross stitch clutch, and um, these book darts that you can 
put in a book in, or on a page and it marks where you're at. So like if you want to point to a specific row or if you're reading a book, you can point to a specific paragraph or, or something. So, so that's cool. And let's see. I'm almost done with everything that I got and did. Except let's rewind back to Saturday. Saturday we had a fun, exciting happenstance. Um, while we were sitting in the room stitching, suddenly these flashing lights start going off and this alarm starts blaring and, and this voice comes over the, the intercom thing saying, um, there has been an emergency in the building. Please evacuate the building as soon as possible. Take the stairs, don't use the, don't use the elevator. And, um, some people were, were rebels and stayed in the stitching room, Kefren. <clears throat> and, um, but most of us got up and headed outside. We didn't know what was going on. We were, it was just, okay, it says to leave, so we're leaving. Um, thankfully, there was nothing really going on. The, we were having some really heavy rain and it, um, tripped the sensors on the roof, which caused the alarm to go off. And so um, the, the nice hotel lady said that we could go back to the stitching room and they, um, they took a while, but eventually the light stopped flashing and the alarm stopped going and we were able to stitch in peace. <laughs> um, but it was, just, it was funny. A little bit, a little bit of excitement. Um, okay, Jan Hicks was also there at the retreat and she designed an exclusive pattern. And of course I had to buy that. So this is Stitching with Friends by Jan Hicks. And it's got Northwest, Southeast, no, North, East, Southwest, Stitching with Friends is best and beautiful flowers and other motifs. And it's just very sweet. I will not stitch it on this fabric. Um, my personal taste, I, I don't care for this like darker greenish, yellowish brown fabric. Um, so I'll, I'll do it on something lighter, something, something else but it's a very beautiful pattern and I'm excited to, to stitch that and to, to have this pattern. All right, that's all the stuff that I have to show. Ooh, for the first time in quite a while, my video is more than 20 minutes long. <laughs> so, so yeah, that is my update. I had a great time at Stitch West and I'm already looking forward to next year. Um, uh, in running news, I will keep this brief because I try to keep the running stuff separate from the cross stitch stuff, but I signed up for another half marathon and it's in four weeks. And yeah, that's happening. <laughs> um, it's in St. George, which is a beautiful area of Utah. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm doing that. So that's happening. <laughs> and so as far as cross stitching plans, I will probably very likely continue working on Seaworthy Sampler and um, also Autumn Town. I'm really, really feeling those two lately and then whatever else I feel like working on because I'm a stitch what you want, when you want kind of person. And I will see you for my next update whenever it ends up being. Happy stitching, bye.